Hi, this is Tracy H. Dane. I want to thank you for joining me today for our April 2019 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Aries. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. For the middle of the month, I'll take a card from the center. And for the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, and let's see what we have here. Okay, we start out the month with the Ace of Wands. Okay, and this beautiful angel, okay, surrounded with these red flames. There's a book down here. She's holding a wand in her hand. It looks like a, a very serious card. And what I'm getting from spirit is the energy in the beginning of the month, okay, is going to be that of maybe you having an exciting new idea, okay, maybe a new job, maybe some type of new business venture, okay, whatever it is, it's giving you uh, the blessing from the universe in the beginning of the month. You're feeling very creative, uh, maybe uh, finally pursuing your life purpose, the wands are a very creative energy. So this is the beginning of something. And then towards the middle of the month, okay, we have the devil. Okay, and of course, we have the devil here in the center. And we have people looking up at him. And he's got such a serious face. Actually, I thought that was him. It's actually up here. There's two faces in this card. Very interesting. And the devil is warning us to pay attention to what enslaves us, what holds us into bondage, what in our life, okay, could be holding us back, okay? The devil wants us to examine where maybe somewhere in our life we're overindulging, okay? Are we eating too much? Are we spending too much? Are we drinking too much? Are we taking substances that are not for our highest good? Are we in a relationship that makes us feel like we're in bondage? And a relationship that is more of a codependency than, than a relationship that would be healthy. Uh, the devil wants us to examine something in the middle of the month because whatever this is, it may be hindering you from this new beginning and this new creative project, okay? This devil card could even be the love of money. It could be anything that makes us feel like the situation we're in is controlling us instead of us having control over our life. This could also mean maybe someone's holding a secret from you. So you want to be sure in the middle of the month, okay, that you're aware of whatever this is that may be controlling in your life. Because as you know, when we overindulge, okay, too much of a good thing isn't good. If we overeat, we're going to put on weight. If we overspend, we're going to get into debt. If we're bothering with the wrong kind of people, it's, it's, it's bringing negative and positive circumstances into our life. So we need to get this in check and figure out what we need to do, what we need to let go. Because by the end of the month, we have the two of coins. So you're going to be feeling very busy at the end of the month. This may even be you juggling your finances, maybe taking on a second job. Okay. This could very well be in the beginning of the month, you thinking of a new job or a second job. And at the end of the month, this could be maybe your, your home life and your job life, you know, trying to balance out both. Uh, but at the end of the month, the two of coins, the coins are our health, our wealth, our finances. Um, you could also refer to them as the pentacles. We're needing to balance out our work life and our home life. That's what I'm getting from spirit here. Uh, it's a balancing act. And we all go through it. Are you overworking yourself and not spending enough time with your family or spending enough time enjoying yourself? Or is it the opposite? Are you doing too many enjoyable things and not paying attention to your work and letting your responsibilities fall by the wayside? Or this could just be a balance of finances to maybe take whatever this project is further, okay? Whatever it is, don't allow this here, this, this something that's keeping you in bondage to prevent you from being able to pursue something, 
Okay, it's life balance, maybe juggling finances at the end of the month. So, you know, care is needed to maintain balance to ensure everything is progressing smoothly and flowing harmoniously. So what an interesting reading for you. It's definitely not boring. Very fiery energy to start the month off. And then you're balancing things out and making sure you're on the right path at the end of the month. And whomever this person could be that's holding you back, you may need to let them go if they're not for your highest good or whatever habits we've formed that could possibly hold us back from reaching our full potential. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.